Mario Maker. Mario Maker levels. Mario Maker. We'll play some Mario Maker. I wanted to do a best of on Salt Lake for a very long time. Why don't we just fucking, we're going to do a spontaneous best of. I want to do a best of for Salt Lake for a really long time. Um, Salt Lake is has been making Mario Maker levels for a very long time. I think he has he I think he pretty exclusively makes like platforming levels. Like pretty much all platforming. He's got a lot of different levels. Look at this. Holy shit. Got a lot of different levels. Song of Ice and Fire. Maybe we should play this. <laughs> okay, I think this is a music level. Maybe we should play this one first to start it off with. But yeah, let's uh we're gonna do some Salt Lake levels. Uh we just I just finished my 666 super expert. So I'm done with Super Expert until Mario Maker 2 comes out. Whatever, whatever, whatever that's going to be in Mario Maker 2, Endless Mode or whatever it's going to be. All right, let's see. What do we got? Goomba, Roomba, and the Brute Boots. 0.35. I don't want to play something that's going to be insanely difficult. Maybe we should check this one out. 0.35. All right, let's check this one out. 0.35 is that's pretty low clear rate, but let's check it out. The finale wasn't that bad, surprisingly, compared to the rest of Season 8. Unpopular opinion. Hoi! Yeah, this level's not so bad. At least not yet. Maybe, maybe just everything seems not so bad after Salty Sagan World. <laughs> maybe everything just seems not so bad. Might be going with that. Oh, the checkpoint. <laughs> that was the checkpoint. No, I didn't. I didn't finish the level. That le the level, the level in Salty Sagan World is incredibly long. There's no checkpoint. Um. It's got a glitch that kills you if you do something wrong. It's just a really, really, really tough level. It's really, really tough. I will beat it. I'm just, I'm, I'm done grinding Salty Sagan World for the day. I don't, uh, I don't get pleasure grinding the shit out of stuff. Hey! No! No! Bastard! I don't get a lot of, uh, pleasure causing physical pain to myself like that. And at some point it really just has become physical pain. Let's play Ghost Sagan's level. I've already played Ghost Sagan's levels. I've already done best of on my YouTube. I already did Ghost Sagan. The glitch kills you for doing something right. It kills you for getting a frame. It's like you kill Yoshi the same frame that the bullet appears and it kills you. Something like that. Okay, so I think I need to platform off these swamps. Wow, I think I need to jump off those swamps. Wow. Okay. Yeah, uh, Salt Lake is a really, really good level maker. He's not going to kill you. This is a preview door of some kind. Oh. Uh, oh, I sure hope I don't need that anymore. <laughs> Salty Sagan world is, is easy. You just bad. Uh, uh. Okay. Oh, all right. Check mine. All right. Uh, fuck it. Who needs, who needs a preview door? Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> I thought I was gonna get in the boot there. All right. So he wants me to avoid the saws. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, did that right though. He just didn't arc back enough. What? Am I okay? <laughs> Am 
<laughs> okay. Oh no, we're not okay, are we? <laughs> no, I, I don't think I don't think we're okay at all. Yeah, we're we're very not okay. All right, need some kind of we need a boot there or something. All right, this level is cool though. I like this level a lot. I'm glad I played this one. I always like when you see like a really good creator, like Salt Lake has been around for a long time. He made like a shitload of race levels and stuff. And like, he's just, he's just been around the Mario Maker community for a really long time. I actually really like going through and seeing their old levels as well, because sometimes the old levels are also, they're also very interesting in ways you would not expect. All right. in there easy peasy you glad i stopped playing salty second world i just stopped playing for the day i am gonna i'm not done with salty second world GG. that was a very very cool level yeah the clear rate was kind of a lie on that one that one's not not that bad at all usually much rougher yeah but sometimes they have just like that little a little extra spice you know, I don't know. There's like something a little bit extra. Maybe it's like jank or something, but something about old levels sometimes just have a little, a little something extra, you know? That was a cool level. The Thwomp Stomp Swamp Romp. This one's hard, 0 0.09. IPK world record, 0 0.09. That might be too hard for me to do right now. Uh, Soylent Green is, look at how much, look at how much work he put into his pixel art, dude. I never put any work into my pixel art. Yeah, look at this shit. Lazy Daisy and the Hyper Viper. Soylent Green is Shell Kaizo. I mean, I do like Shell Kaizos. All right, let's play this one. I like Shell Kaizo. Let's do it. What's up, Mr. Dirt? Uh, the Lowly Chef, thank you for six months. Thank you, uh, Lowly Chef. 30 seconds. Oh my God. This is like a lot of control jumps. Oh, the, you know, the beast would fucking hate this. The beast hates control shell jumps. <laughs> beast would hate this. What's on my shirt? Here, I'll show you my shirt. My shirt, uh, here is my shirt. Hang on. I don't know if you guys can accurately see. Do you see what that says? It's a smelter demon from Dark Souls 2. <laughs> it's a smelter demon. Yep. Ooh, this is hard, isn't it? Oh, this is hard. Mods are really, you know what? I don't even mind. I'm not, I'm not even gonna. I'm certainly, I'm certainly not gonna stand up and defend the guy who's like, you suck, lol. Dude, I'm killing. What's going on there? I don't get it. What's happening there? I did get annoyed by somebody quoting the Kaizo Wikipedia page to me to prove why I'm wrong and how Kaizo hacks are all about annoying the player as much as possible. No, I think that's actually right. I think that's actually right. Hmm. That part is really tough. It's really tough to do all these things. I think I might, today, I might be picking the absolute worst Salt Lake levels to play. <laughs> I think I'm picking the worst possible Salt Lake levels to play. <laughs> I know Salt Lake is on Twitch. He's probably, he's going to be mad at me. Like, why are you, why did you play this level? That's what you do. And then bop there and then you go up. That's what you do. That's the dumbest thing in the whole level.
I beat something. We beat something today. We beat a thing. <laughs> oh God. We beat a thing. Not even, not even, how do you save a full second? How do you even save a full second? Oh, th this one was probably one of Salt Lake's heart, like most difficult. And it's a really old level too. Uh, he is known as a great creator in Mario Maker, has made a lot of platforming levels. Uh, a lot of SMB1 and SMB3, I think, is mostly what he does. But uh, yeah, we're going to check out his levels and we're not going to get stuck on another two hour shell jump, shell jump speed run. We're not going to do that this time. We're actually going to play his levels. Man, he, he, look at how much time he puts into his pixel art, man. Look at all this. Look at his levels. Honestly, all you guys with pixel art, like, you guys put so much work into your levels, like making them look nice. I don't even know how you have, how do you even have the room to do all this? All right, let's see. What should we pick? Can we pick like this one? Let's say, let's check that this one. Salt Lake's Boot Dispute. Let's check this level out. Uh, 272 stars, 1.22% clear rate. Let's play it. Let's check it out. Rip Pixel Art and Mario Maker 2. Are there no... Are there in Mario Maker 2? Are there no uh, level previews like that? Oh, it's an auto scroller. Everyone here knows how this is going down. This is where we get stuck on this for another three hours. I've had a. Uh, I deserve. I deserve a fucking break after Salty Sagan World. I deserve a fucking break from ball busting Mario shit. <laughs> Oi. Uh, checkpoint. Uh, Dark Show. Thank you for the 10 months. Appreciate it. Z. Okay. Oh, shit. You know, Salt Lake levels have like a really... They always have a really nice flow. He's kind of like... He's like a more complex Bufflin, I feel like, with, the, with his levels. Like they're very strict platforming for the most part, but uh, I really, I really like Salt Lake's levels. I really like them. All right, so we want to not jump on top. Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> What? Oh, I want to get on top of the Wiggler. I see. Okay. Not what I was expecting. That's a mindset. I And you know, it's going to be back in Mario Maker 2 for sure. It's a mindset I, I would be fine if it died completely. The whole... Every level needs to be as difficult as possible. That's a mindset I think... Anybody who plays Mario Maker, like, a lot... We should all be happy if that dies, you know? Do I know Ryukar? I do know Ryukar. Uh, we played ping pong together once. And uh, I, I I seem to remember... No, I think my fondest memory of Ryukar is carrying him and the whole rest of the team at uh, MMC. It was really tough, but I managed somehow. They were pretty heavy. True ending, true ending. Even got the true ending. That was a really cool level. I like the way you recycle the boot usage. Very cool. I, I am extraordinarily humble. Yeah, shoulders are still pretty sore from having to carry the whole team. <laughs> Very cool level. Salt Lakes, I, I don't like to play just uh, the one theme. It's like a lot, he's got a lot of SMB one levels. Let's see. Swamp Romp 2 Electric. Okay, see this? This is where we know we're not going to do this because it's three out of 4,200. Very, very low clear rate on this one. We're going to avoid that because we're going to avoid yesterday's mistakes. This donation goes to the recovery for Parkstat <laughs> Rehab. Doctor recommends not carrying so much. Uh, Mighty Mouse, thank you for the bits. Uh, let's look at this one. All right. The Shy Guy over Innsmouth. Innsmouth? 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 Sure, let's check this one out. This game you play where a few of you were werewolves and some of you were like townspeople. I think it was called Werewolf. <laughs> Pretty sure it was called Werewolf. Okay. 
Innsmouth. And now do now do the last one one minute faster for world record. Uh, no, I prefer to get a. I prefer to like when I do these. I like to play like a decent sampling of that creator's levels. You know, Innsmouth. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Hey. Well, this is this is certainly interesting. <laughs> That's terrifying. Oh no! Oh, I thought I had it for a second. Okay. Secret Hitler, Werewolf, and Mafia are all the same game. Yeah, I was I was terrible. I was terrible at it. I, that is a uh, that is not one of my strengths. Is Werewolf, I think. Although maybe um maybe I'd be better next time. Maybe next time I play, I'd be better. I feel like there should be a game of like why can't we turn uh game of thrones into a game like that right i feel like game of thrones would would adapt really well how do i want to do that there we go we're gonna do that um i'm gonna get it now throw it on the higher spike well, i mean aiming for the spike is gonna be awkward Fuck. well you can make a pretty fun game from uh Pretty fun party game from Game of Thrones. Hey. Oh God, no, 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 you bet. No, come on, man. What kind of shit is that? Show is dead. Fuck, this is tough. I wish, uh, you know, at the end of the day, Three Cats was like, uh, when he started streaming, he was like, Oh, Barb never raids me. I, w I wish Barb would raid me. I, I, I want his viewers. It's like, and it's like, I, I would love to. I would love to. I would love to host Three Cats and raid him. It'd be, it'd be amazing. I just never stream at that time. So it's, it's really hard, especially when you have like a, like a content creator you really like. You know? It's hard to do that. Oh, God. All right, in there. Checkpoint. Damn, that's pretty cool. Oh shit, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I was getting, and not only that, but the glitch was killing me. You know, I, the sky tree level was tough. It was definitely like every level in Salty Sagan World was at least like, except for the water level, the water level was really short. I maintain that the only reason the water level was short is because he had no idea what to do in the water. That's the only reason. That's the only reason the water level was short. Um, in Salty Sagan World, but every level was like at least ten seconds too long. Like every single one was just a little too long. Whew. Holy shit! Damn, that's mean as fuck if you die right there. Holy shit. I'm gonna shoot me in the face. Man, uh, Salt Lake really has, like... Really, like, his levels kind of fall in that category of, like... You know, a platforming level where you constantly... You never touch the ground. And it's all, like, one continuous thing. But he really does have his own style. I really... I can appreciate that. Like, he really makes it his own. I believe that every SMW hack must have a water level. I am, yes. Every every SMW hack has to have a water level or at least one significant water section. But water levels don't have to be bad. They don't have to be bad. I think the water level in Grand Pearl 2 is fucking dope. I think it's good. Let's see, Call of Koopa Thulu. Call of Koopa Thulu. Sure. Check it out. Water levels are bad. The last of Phobia is a good level. I like that level. Oh, I see. I got to throw the thing, All right? Oh, I see. I have to time that better. Okay. Must they also have a cape level? Uh, I like cape levels. I just think that cape levels very often because people don't know what to do with the cape. They're like, sticky fly. And like, they have no other ideas beyond that. And that's kind of disappointing. 
If that's all, if all you can do is sticky fly, then like in your level, that's kind of like, yeah. I gotta throw that shell later. I just gotta throw it later. Doesn't look bad. I just don't know if I'm interested. I'm not. I'm not in a rush to play it anyway. Whoa. Okay. I'm not in a super rush to play that myself. What things you wish you would avoid while making ROM hacks? Low muncher ceilings, uh, excessively long sections, not giving the player checkpoints, bad music, bad palettes, um, repetitive, repetitive tricks. How, how's that for a starter? Looks like I'm starting over. <laughs> hey, nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. Is there a raw mag level that doesn't have a single muncher? I mean, munchers, don't think of munchers as like, oh, it's so repetitive. He has munchers. Munchers are just spikes. You need spikes, you know? You're not allowed to play 100 man super expert. Why so? Uh, so Nintendo has legally for forbidden me from playing Mario Maker super expert because according to Nintendo, I'm just too fucking good at super expert. And it's unfair to other streamers like Orator and Sean and the beast because i just make them look really bad with how amazing i am at the game so yeah nintendo actually their lawyers contact me i'm no longer allowed to play uh super expert real shame how was my delivery on that one was that a good one did i how, how was that <laughs> how was the delivery on that grade a bullshit that's bullshit no no really you think you think it was are you sure Eight out of ten. No. So that's what I gotta do. I just have to do it slightly better. Dan G watch it on stream. I bet Dan G didn't time me out though. Boom. Timed out. Anybody else? Anybody else have some complaints? Since when is Dan G my model for fucking doing anything anyway? <laughs> I'm not toxic enough anymore. Have you seen Dan G's mustache? Have you seen that? Dan G is not the role model you want. Let's put it that way. 99, huh? You're fired. <laughs> did you just did you just compare me to Shooter McGavin? <laughs> My shooter McGavin. Okay, I see what to do. Somebody coming in your stream telling you what to do and you telling them to fuck off is not being toxic. All right. And you know what? And you know what? If that makes me toxic, if that makes me toxic, toxic, I sure as fuck am glad I'm toxic then. I am incredibly glad to be toxic if that is the case. Holy shit, this is cool. Holy shit. You like the eat shit part? You know, if you if you can't handle me at my best, you don't deserve me at my worst. <laughs> or some or some shit like that. What do what do people say? <laughs> well, good for Dan G. Oh my God. <laughs> the new basic bitch phrase is if you want a whore buy one, if you want a queen, earn her. The thing about that quote that's so stupid is that Cersei literally fucked Euron like five seconds later. <laughs> that, that quote was bullshit. She banged him immediately after that. It was bullshit. Ah. Uh. Am I excited for Vegas? Uh, I'm excited for the event. Ooh. Oh, I think you got to jump, go back, and then jump again. Okay, I see. Uh, I'm excited for the event. I'm excited to see everybody. Uh, I am not excited to travel. I'm not excited to fly. I don't like flying. Not because I'm afraid, but because I'm six foot tall, and I don't fit into the seats that airlines have designed for people because I'm too fucking big. My, by the end of a flight... You guys understand, by the end of a flight, my knees are killing me. My knees are killing me. I hate it. 
I'm not see like you know, I, I I wish I had the luxury to be afraid of flying like you hear people who are afraid of flying and they're like Oh, the takeoff and the landing are so scary. Like, I think I'm gonna, like, you think that's gonna be it. I'm like, I wish I had the luxury of being able to think about that. Because all I can think about as I'm huddled in there is, oh my God, my knees hurt so bad. Like, death would be a fucking relief for me. That, I, I would welcome death. <laughs> I would welcome death at that point because my knees just hurt so bad. Do I manspread? I sit. I sit on a plane any way I can. Any possible way I can. That's how I sit in the plane. <laughs> at least if the plane crashed, at least I wouldn't have to worry about my fucking legs hurting anymore. I'm six foot three, six foot four. In there. That was a really cool level. That was very cool. Freeing the knees as comfortable as you can i mean i don't want to be like i don't want to like hit the person next to me or something what i try to do is i try to take the aisle i think uh i think i have an aisle seat i hope i have an aisle seat for this plane so i kind of like spread out in the aisle a little bit just so i can actually fit you know have i tried being shorter <laughs> i wish yeah i gotta have the aisle seats Many have said he does things that are not correct to do. <laughs> the wider spider cider slider. What the fuck does that mean? Man, I really like playing uh, Salt Lake's levels. I really like playing them. They're very fun. Hmm. Do not play this level. And what is MO? Can you play the kazoo? Nice thwimps. Nice thwimps. Let's play an SMW level. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, shout outs to Wario Land. Let's play this one. Let's play an SMW level. I always good they can crash into you with a cart. I don't care. I I'll take I'll take the pain of that uh over fucking over being cramped in the corner or something like that. Is this best of? It is best of. It is best of. Playing some uh, Salt Lake. Salt Lake. Is it Salt Lake Atrocity or Salt Lake City? I guess it's Salt Lake Atrocity, but I guess he just goes by Salt Lake now. Have you seen the redesigned economy seats that are basically bicycle seats that allow more capacity because you're basically standing? Am I excited for those? Well, I don't. I don't fly very much, so I'm hoping on the flight to Vegas uh, coming soon. I'm hoping I have time because I've been. I've been. I'm still outlining and working on writing something. I haven't started writing yet. I'm still, I'm still in like the preliminary, like planning phase. I'm trying to take it seriously. I'm not trying to just jump in and write some garbage. Eh. Oh shit. Okay. All right. Jump over, ditch the Yoshi and then land in the beetle. And then we don't know what happens there. No! <laughs> Shit, too much momentum. I thought I needed it. You don't need momentum. Yes, I was really a history teacher. I also taught... I only taught a year of high school. I spent more time teaching in college on... in uh, graduate teaching assistant. This, this is while I was... This is while I was getting my master's degree. Uh, I was working at... I was working as a GTA. And I had my own uh, world history sections. Cool. Nice. Ever played GameCube Wario World? No, I have not. What? What? <laughs> the fuck was that? Uh, SAT prep. I taught, so when I was teaching and when I taught high school, a week before I started teaching or so, um, the principal was like, hey, so you, you just got out of college, right? I'm like, well, yeah, I just got out of grad school. It was like, you know, I think you'd be great teaching SAT prep because we need somebody to teach that. And I was like, I haven't taken the SAT since high school. I don't know fucking shit about the SAT. Like, I, I don't know. Like, the SAT is different nowadays. I have no idea. The principal was like, yeah, I think you're going to teach SAT prep. Yeah, yeah. get. Uh, you're going to teach that. 
I was like, well, okay, I guess I really don't have a choice, do I? And uh, so I taught, uh, the SAT is the standardized aptitude test, I believe is what it stands for. It's used for college entry and for uh, things like scholarships and stuff. Anyway, um, there was, there were no textbooks. There was no textbook, no curriculum, no lesson plans. Basically I had to make up, I had to make up a class with like a week. I had to make up a class. So I, I did, I did the best I could. I, I did the best I could with that, but it was not, it was not what I got my degree for. And it was not an enjoyable experience. That said, I did literally the best I could with it. Well, there was one moment. So a lot of the kids that took SAT prep, like a lot of kids that, a lot of ki the kids that were taking it, not only because I, I taught at a title one school, that means it was, it was very low income. Uh, most of the students were eating free and reduced lunch and stuff. Uh, many of the kids, like they both thought and knew they were never going to college. They didn't see the relevance. They didn't even want to take the SAT. They only were taking the class because they had nothing else to take and they needed to take it, right? So basically it was a struggle from day one for legitimacy and to get students to take the class seriously. Um, with all that said, I had a student, my first semester teaching the class, who he was, he was, he was a good student. He wasn't like, he wasn't like a problem student or anything. Like he wasn't like he was disrespectful or anything like that. But like, you know, I taught the class and we spent, you know, one thing I did was uh, we I, I taught a lot of vocabulary in that class because vocabulary matters a lot for the SAT, just being able to like read and understand questions. And there's also like word associations and whatever. And um, he came up to me in the second semester. So this was like, um, shut up, shut up. I'm talking. I know this. Shut up. I'll read you a thing in a second. So I was, um, he came up to me in the second semester and he was like, Mr. Barb, Mr. Barb. I was like, Hey, how's it going? He's like, I took the SAT. I, I took the SAT the other day. I think I did really well. And some of the words that you, you forced us to learn, uh, it was on the test. It was on the test. And I was like, that's great. That's great. I was like that. That was like a rewarding moment. So he like, he was really excited. He was really excited that like he took the test and he did well. And that like, it seemed like the stuff I was teaching actually paid off. That was a, uh, that was one of those moments where it's like, oh, you know, oh, I did something. I did something. All right. Super cricket. Thank you for 1500 bits. Here is your joke. Here, I'll, I'll replay your joke. I know history. The war of 1812 happened in 1812. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Uh, they, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Thank you for 1500 bits. I appreciate it. All right, let's actually try to do this jump. Oh shit, I shouldn't have cut my jump. Okay. Ugh. Okay, so jump on the shell. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. We can't wait. We can't wait. Uh. Holy shit, that was fucking close. <laughs> All right, first try. Hey! Dude, who fucking needs a preview door? Get out of here with your preview door. I don't need it. Okay, maybe I needed it. <laughs> The conveyor ended. I was god damn it. <laughs> Why not a compilation of the level curse for Salty Sagan World? Uh I don't uh I don't I don't have an editor and I don't even have any I don't have any editing software and I don't have the time to do it. And also for one thing, like let's say I even let's say I spent like three or four hours making a video of all everything I beat in Salty Sagan World. People Salty Sagan World's old news. People already fucking know about the hack. What would what would that accomplish me? 
Like, what would that get me? It isn't like the hot new hack. Finally, Salty Sagan World's complete. One hundred bits to start the ten. No, I'm an idiot. <sighs> I'll give you a couple bits and some dryer lint. Continue what you're doing. <laughs> oh, that was a weird TTS right there. Okay, what do we do? Oh, wow, so you... Oh, wait. You either... If you bring Yoshi, you're fine. Wait, I don't understand. If you bring Yoshi, you're fine. What happens if you don't? If you don't, the spring just fucking kills you? Is that it? <laughs> what the fuck? Gotta bring Yoshi, huh? All right. Mecha Godzilla, thank you for the 15 months. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mecha Godzilla. Helmo Sarah, thank you for four months. Uh, a lot of subs today, guys. Thank you so much. Holy crap. We are at 4,346 subs, 4,824 sub points. Uh, thank you so much. That is 176 away from an emote. Uh, thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Very cool level. Very, very cool level. Punishing people for killing Yoshi shouldn't be the opposite, right? Wait for your levels. They are not bad. I... No. Not playing your level. Uh, Bleak Blaker, thank you for the 16 months. Appreciate it. Man, Salt Lake levels are easy to just sit here and play. They're really fun. Uh, thank you so much, Loveland. Holy shit. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. You've gifted a lot of subs. Thank you so much. Holy crap. Didn't I... Uh, no, Alfonso, no. Let's all, let's all forget that I promised that a long time ago. Uh, that promise is no longer valid. <laughs> uh, Loveland, thank you so much. Man, I'm really glad everybody fucking forgot about the promise I made a long time ago <laughs> at 5,000 subs. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. I never promised anything of the sort. Metroid. Are you guys really going to make me do a Me Metroid 1 speedruns? Are you guys really going to make me do that? Do you guys even want that? <laughs> You guys, you guys don't even know what you're asking for. Metroid 1 is fucking shit, man. You guys, you guys do not want that. Yes? You guys are gonna make me do that shit? Apparently, yes. No, man. But you guys aren't, the thing is, you guys aren't even gonna watch it. You guys are gonna be like, oh, Barb's doing Metroid. Fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> A Barb Yeet emote? I don't know what Barb Yeet would be. Maybe it should be uh, Kyburn from Game of Thrones. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'll do my best. I'm going to do my best to make good on the promise. Let me actually watch a Metroid 1 speedrun. <laughs> oh, the two bucket. The two bucket. Again? <laughs> Woof. 20k for Neo Deathless. This level's fucking cool. You know, you know what, you know what Salt Lake is? Salt Lake as a level creator is if Space Pig and Bufflin had a kid. That's who he is. He's the he's the baby he's the baby of Bufflin and Space Pig. Hey guys, welcome welcome to my welcome to my stream. Oh man, this jump is really hard. Yes, yes, I am Ryukar. How's it going? I, I trimmed my beard a little bit, and uh, I suddenly I woke up this morning. And I'm suddenly going bald, man. It's weird. What happened to Pooh's legs? Uh, you know, we don't talk about it. It's, it's a sensitive issue. Uh, uh, okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. Holy shit, that was awesome. <laughs> you live in Vegas, you're gonna be there? Sick, dude. Yeah, you gotta get, apparently you gotta get there early. Whoa! <laughs> no, come on, I thought I had it. <laughs> I 
I thought I had it. Juz will be at GDQ, however, for Invictus and for the Blind Kaizo race. I'm just barely above media. Look at this shit. What the fuck? Oh, come on. <laughs> what kind of shit is that, man? <laughs> oh my god oh my god what the fuck was that <laughs> Dude, that level was awesome that level was awesome not learning dkc1 jump roll dkc1 is really is really really fun but uh, dkc1 is not a great speed run i think overall like it, it's it's a great game the levels are fun but the higher you, the better you get at it, the worse it actually gets at the speed game. Because you need to land frame perfect moves as you only get one chance at. Um, I don't know. Really tough. Really fucking tough. I think uh, overall, I'd have to say DKC2 is a better speed game. Enjoyed watching me lab out DKC speedruns. I miss DKC1. I miss just playing DKC, honestly. Just miss it. I really feel like I can play Salt Lake levels like all fucking day. This bad boy can fit so much. BKR, blind Kaizo race level. Let's play it. Man, Salt Lake levels. Yeah, he makes really, really, really fun levels. Really fun stuff. Shit game, don't play, quit forever. Yeah, they really do. They are like, they are all the same thing. Like Salt Lake's levels are all kind of the same thing over and over. But the th he the, he does this. I really feel like he does this the best. You know, like he is the best at making this kind of level. They are all the same, but he he's the best at it. So I don't mind. You know. Ah, uh, what's the best speed run? I don't know. That's an impossible answer. It's just a lot of it's just gonna come down to preference. Oh shit. Oh! Mario 64. Oh, I see. Pokemon Blue. Hmm. You ever play Portal 2? I have played Portal 2. Uh, Portal 1 and 2 are really fun. You know what? Some games, some games, you know what the best way to play that game is? Is to play it, play it once, enjoy it. Don't play it again for a really long time so you forget everything about it. So you forget every single thing about it. Uh, that's the way I am with Dead Space. That's the way I am with... Uh, that's the way I want to be with Portal 2 and Portal 1. That's the way I also am with Sekiro. I want to not play Sekiro for a while so I forget everything about it. Me and Pooh gambling. I'm not a, I'm not a big gambler. I'm not, a, not much of a gambler. I do like Blackjack, but... Uh. Oh. No, nah, shit. I was pulling back too much. Hey, dude, that was sick. That was sick. Two can enjoy really based on that. I had no idea. Oh, I did that right. Come on, man. It's not like a super long flight. Yeah, I feel like I should like take something. Woo. Yeah, it's a direct flight. That's nice. Why am I almost why am I almost good at this game? Why am I almost good at Mario Maker? Why can't I just be good? Why do I have to almost be good at every level I ever play? Every fucking time. Every time. I'm almost good at Mario Maker.
I hate everything. Isle seed is like a necessity for me. I don't have an Isle seed. Like it's it's ten times as bad. There we go. Oh, I mean, I got it right. Oy. Easy peasy. That level was sick. That level was very good. Take off your shoes and make fists. It does. That's for jet lag, I think. That's for being jet lagged. Not for having your knee feel like it's going to fucking break. Who didn't pay for first class? I know, right? Not even a first class ticket. Get out of here. <laughs> Exit aisles are the best. I know, right? Come on. Do you know who I am? I have to fly coach. <laughs> Delete browser history. Ooh, three-year Mario Maker. I don't remember. So, I if this this is a three-year Mario Maker level, I don't know if I've. Uh, I think I played this one maybe a really long time ago, but I remember nothing about it. So let's check this one out, and then I think we'll play one more Salt Lake level because he has a final level. That's the biggest thing is people playing their final, making their final. Actually, I want to play this one too. All right, let's play the three-year Mario Maker level. Honestly, I should just be playing these levels all fucking day. Honestly. My seat is by the toilet. Let's play this one. Auto scroller. Whoops. I am bad. I am bad. Let's do them all. I really should, right? No, I should I should get out and do more stuff. It'll be cool to like I've never you know I so I went to MMC and like I met a bunch of people there. I met I met like everybody there. I met Dode and Pooh and and you know you name it. I met I met them at MMC. But but I did I've never met fans. You know what I'm saying? Like I've never met people who watch the stream. They, those were all fellow streamers. That's a little bit different. So I should especially considering this is like a this is an event geared towards meeting you know meeting and putting on a performance for the viewers and stuff you know what i'm saying so that'll be it'll be cool to actually meet fans this time so mmc fanboyed over me i mean that might be true but you understand what i'm saying okay i haven't met paco yeah i haven't met paco i haven't met uh laser belt I haven't met Carl. I never met Carl. Um, I haven't met Juz, but Juz, Juz hasn't been to anything yet because he lives, he lives in Didgeridoo land. And uh, let's see, I who else haven't I met? There's a bunch of people I've never met. Jaku is, you know, Jaku was in my, Jaku stayed in my trailer. I think it's just because I always fell asleep before him. I didn't, I didn't hear him snore at all. But uh, I was also, I was, I, I never got off East Coast time. So I was awake three hours before everybody else and I was fucking dead tired around nine, nine o'clock. <laughs> I never got off East Coast time. Oi, oi, oi. One, two, buckle my shoe. No, <laughs> come on, man. Definitely some spaghetti. Not this time though. Uh, okay. Sure. A link to the VODs from MMC. Uh, I think the MMC videos are all on Pooh's channel. They're not like one video. They are a collection of like different moments and stuff. Oh. Oh. No, come on again with the almost clutch. Again, Beanie just found me to be the most hilarious. Either she was laughing with me or at me. I'm not sure which. Pretty sure it was at me. No, you know what? You know what? I was thinking about making Grand Portal 3, but instead, you know what I have to do? I have to devote my time to speedrunning Metroid for the NES. So tough shit, guys. Sorry. You guys, you guys were, oh, you gotta give them Metroid speedruns. Well, you know what? You guys just threw away Grand Portal 3. Worth it. <laughs> And the pipe. Oh shit. Dude, Salt Lake is fucking awesome. Oh shit, this is a fucking boss fight.
This level's so cool. I always, I admire, I admire creators who spend this much effort to make a boss fight in, in Mario Maker. No! Fuck this boss fight. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, dude. Pulling from North Carolina. Boy, my arms are tired. Uh, what's up, Celery? Yeah, I hope you're doing well, too. Boom, boom. Stain a deck. I don't, I don't have a deck to stain. At least not yet. No, come on, not again. I don't want to die again, please. Not again. I need two more. No, it's happening again. <laughs> why, dude, why am I so bad at this? this dude <laughs> I'm so bad at this true ending is there a true ending oh no dude is there even a true ending? All right, let's just let's just burn this off. There we go. Now we're good. <laughs> Very cool level. Ah. Now you need to commit Sudoku. You just have to burn off the Yoshi. Salt Lake really does make some some really really fun levels. Really really fun levels. Yoshi ending equals fake ending. Let's see. He's got uh he's got an SMW. I'm really like SMW is the most interesting to me. He's got this one. Where is it? The Dream Quest of Unknown Koopa. I want I like to see what he does with SMW because looks like he mostly avoids SMW. Let's check out this level. I bet this level is really good. Let's see this one. It's a light novel title. Okay. Too bad starting all these levels at the end of Mario Maker 1. What do you mean? Why do I feel bad about anything? <laughs> eh. Oh, okay, another spin. Isn't like I was like denying him level spots or something. If anything, all I'm doing is I'm hyping people up to play his levels in Mario Maker 2 right now. Apologize to Salt Lake. Oh, okay. I see. My God. The last week before release, it was just nonstop. I, fought ba I, I was fighting Bowser for so long to adjust Bowser. I did pretty much all the adjustments on Bowser towards the end. It was so much work. Oh my god. People cheesed Bowser anyway. I mean, nobody really cheesed Bowser on their first playthrough. That was a, that was a speedrun strat that uh, people found later. It was a lot of work. It was a lot, a lot of work. Okay, and this level's serious. A uh, guide to good level. Well, there's a difference between like, you see, that's the thing is that there's a difference between like how to do things and the difference between how to make something good, right? Like when in my Lunar Magic tutorial, I showed people how to change stuff in map 16 and to turn munchers in the water and shit and like all kinds of crazy stuff in SMW. I didn't say this is how you make a good level in SMW. I didn't do that. All I said was this is how you do things. There's a very big difference there.
Y... ¡Oh, no! <laughs> What was that? How did I not get the height? Come on. Oof. Hey. Nice. Ah. Okay. I'm creative. I'm definitely creative. I'm definitely creative. That doesn't, that doesn't mean I'm good creative. There is such a thing as bad creative. Uh. Go Sagan's basement. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Oh, fuck. I'm an idiot. All right. Progress. People think Goldeneye is the best first person shooter ever made. Yeah, that, that's just a wrong opinion. That's just wrong. What is the best first person shooter ever made, though? It's definitely not Goldeneye. But what is the best first person shooter? Yeah, groundbreaking, sure. It doesn't mean it was the best. I don't know. That's a tough question. So that the spring is there so that I can get I need to get the spring and break my spin. That's why that's there. And I need the spring for the next part. I see. Perfect dark, not Fortnite, Halo 2. I think there has to be I think there has to be a mention of Halo. I don't know which Halo you would say though. Halo 1, 2 and 3 perhaps. Uh Shit, I'm I got to go faster. Counter Yeah, Counter Strike for sure should be on there. Best game is suggestive. Yeah, I think you'd have to. I think it, I think it's more productive to come up with like a list of games that should be considered among the best. I feel like I feel like Call of Duty deserves to be on there somewhere. I just don't know which one. Possibly Modern Warfare, I think, would be the one I would say. Get more time to play Halo. Uh, Halo Two, Black Ops Two. I don't like Black Ops Two very much. I like Black Ops One better. I don't like when I didn't like when Call of Duty introduced the insane kill streaks. Which I feel like that was a thing that started around Modern Warfare 2. Um, I don't know. It was weird. Kill streaks were really weird because in, in theory, they're cool to like reward players for doing well and give them a bonus. In practice, though, it was like the team that's doing good now does even better. <laughs> you know, like it was really weird. What the fuck? <laughs> That was weird as hell. Uh, ah, come on, man. Fuck. Almost had it. Yeah, also, another thing that pissed me off is when, like, you shoot somebody in the head in a Call of Duty game and they don't die. Like, that fucking pisses me off. I'm using, like, a high caliber rifle and I shot you in the head. And then you turn around and you spray me with like three bullets and then I'm and then oh, I'm dead. I don't know. I don't really play shooting games. I don't play, really play. No, I don't really play that shit anymore. Helmets. Yeah, hel helmets do not protect you from bullets. Even even modern helmets. <laughs> I don't really play that shit anymore, so. Yeah, but a quick knife instantly kills you, right? Quick knife is an instant kill. Of course. You know what was really fun in, in um in in World at War? I loved World at War because World at War had fucking bayonets. Bayonetting somebody in World at War was very enjoyable <laughs> another thing that world of war had was the flamethrower the flamethrower was also very enjoyable <laughs> it was so much fun it was actually really hard the flamethrower was really hard to unlock it was like very few people even had it i forget what you had to do to get the flamethrower but it was very tough to get i loved world of war man i love that game 
Fuck, it's going so fast, I can't adjust. I'm pretty sure the helmets are primarily, their primary purpose is for things like shrapnel and that sort of thing and not deflecting bullets. There might be bullets. I don't, I don't know if there are helmets nowadays that can deflect bullets, but I don't think that's their primary purpose. I'm not, I was never in the military, so stop me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure helmets are not meant to stop bullets. Shit. Soldier of Fortune. I never played Soldier of Fortune. Carry a pan at all times. Barb is absolutely correct. What's my favorite whiskey? The one I drink the most is uh, Glenlivet. I really like Glenlivet. Okay. One, two. No! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. <sighs> One, two, get cool, get killed by Boo. No, go the right way. Yeah, I love Glenlivet. I like smoky scotch. I don't really drink that much scotch. I pretty much just, you know what? I like Glenlivet. I've liked Glenlivet for a long time. When Christmas time rolls around, somebody, I get at least like two bottles of Glenlivet every year for Christmas. And that's what I drink. It's the Glenlivet, excuse me. I wouldn't describe the flavor as smoky. I don't know. Fuck, that's so hard to avoid because it's so close. This is tough. Falls on the sweet side of the scale. It's mostly floral. Well, shout outs to the whiskey experts in chat, but I don't know. I don't, I don't drink a lot of whiskey. I'm pretty much just, I just have it. Somebody bought me another whiskey for Christmas one year. It was a different kind. I didn't like it as much as Glenlivet. Well, I tried to get in there faster and I died on, I died on the spike. The ridiculous clear pipe level as well. It's kind of, it's a little disappointing that the clear pipes, I think, are only going to be 3D world. That's a little disappointing. It would have been nice if they were for all the themes. I have, I have this guy on a best of episode. Are you kidding me? No, come on, man. What oh, the point really was of having anything be 3D world exclusive? Ugh. I don't know. I feel like that's why I feel like it's gonna be something like Mario Odyssey because I feel like they're going to reuse a lot of the stuff from 3D World and Mario Odyssey. I feel like it's going to be something more modern like that. A lot of stuff from 3D World also carried over to Odyssey, I feel like. Fuck. Then finishes the single malt. Yeah, I, I don't know much about whiskeys, honestly. They plan on doing any editing on my YouTube videos. Uh, I don't have an editor. I'd like to get an editor. Um, Cause I simply do not have time to edit stuff. And I've had offers from people to become my editor and do that sort of thing. Um, 
Um, but nothing has really worked out. I'm looking for an editor to work with me and like, and do that sort of thing. Or I don't even know how long now, two years or something. The people who do watch my YouTube now, also I think, and I mean, I mean this, this video will probably go on YouTube. They like the conversation and they like following the conversation. So I feel like it would always be like longer videos. I, I don't know. The bottom line is that, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my God. Don't trust Dr. Mario. I have to, I have to do this. Oh my God. You can't fuck this up. Didn't fuck it up easy uh robot mole man thank you for the five dollars appreciate it thank you robot mole man easy peasy uh thank you so much but um the thing is for me is that youtube even if even if i monetize my youtube i have edited videos i have all of that it'll never be as important for me as twitch just because twitch is where most of like my income and viewer base and everything is so, uh, how much effort do I put into it? How much do I do? I don't, I don't know. It's a question. It's not an easy question. All right. Last level we're going to play from uh, Salt Lake. Salt Lake's final atrocity. This is Salt Lake's last level. I don't know. If it, does he have 100 levels uploaded? I don't know. Let's go see what his final level is. Yeah, Salt Lake really is an amazing creator. He really is. Editing video, full videos. Really, I don't know how the hell editor Pooh. Uh, well, I think, uh, I think Pooh... I think Pooh would tell you, I think I've heard Pooh say this before, that um, it was like a working progress so that him and Exodus would like get better as time went on on like how to make the YouTube videos the way they were. I don't know. So I, I guess I, it would be weird of me to expect like perfection from somebody. Oh shit. Okay, I did that wrong. Got you. Let's face it, Twitch VODs are not the ideal thing to watch a video on. Oh. Oh, oh shit! Wow, that's really cool. I've never seen a, a boo ring on a wing block before, so that's actually gonna move. That's really cool. I don't think I, I don't think I've ever done that. Oy. shit no i saw what i had to do too late god damn it certainly i've benefited from from you know people seeing the game and oh he this is the guy that made it wow like i've certainly benefited from that uh, uh, no god damn it fuck son of a bitch not again Okay. <laughs> Barb Thrifty. You bought Street Fighter 5 display. I know. I hate doing that. I hate it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right. I don't know. They're all, they feel like they're all like bursting with creativity. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like he has a vision and he makes his levels around it. It's really cool. I really like him. I really like his levels. I really, really like him as a creator. Very underrated. Eh. Eh. Whoa, this thing is fast as shit. And I'm not streaming this weekend either. Man. Safety first. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you fucking bastard. You fucking bastard. Hey, Carl for swearing. Well, I actually don't know who's gonna be on the couch. Um, I know I'll be there, but I think Mitch wants to pick at least one more person. I would, I hope. Um, I'm hoping he, I'm hoping he chooses Pooh because I feel like, I feel like Pooh should be on the couch for Grand World. Is he considering like, he has also spent a lot of time speed running it? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, I suck. I suck. 
Yeah, I agree. I agree. His setups really are really are good. I think uh, Salt Lake is a very. Oh! He's a very, he's a very inspiring creator. Fuck. Suck. This guy's trying to coerce Mitch into having him. I mean, with all due respect to Glitch Cat, Pooh and, Poo and Tofu and Laser Belts have spent way more time playing Grand Portal 2 than he has. So I, I feel like it should be them. Just like, you know, I, I don't know. That, that would be strange to me. Not to say that Glitch Cat is not an expert on Super Mario World. We're just talking about Grand Pearl 2. And since we have... Since we have both Laser Belch and... And, uh... Whoop. Oh, I see, I see what they do. Since we have them there, why wouldn't we go with Tofu or Laser anyway? Yeah, Laser would be great on the couch. I mean, it's Mitch's decision, but I think I think our top choices should be... If we're, if we're up to me, I feel like it'd be a choice between Pooh, Laser, and Tofu. I feel like they would be the, the choices you'd want to go with. Think I'm dead. Think I'm dead. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know how full the couch needs to be. Like, uh, it's, uh, that's up to GDQ, I feel like. Do they want a couch of two people, a couch of three people? Like, how much is too much? Yeah, Panga, also, Panga is also going to be there. Panga did speedrun Grand Pool. So... Right, and again, I'm not trying to... That's not disrespecting, this is just like a, a statement of fact, kind of, you know? I don't know what I'm doing. I am dead. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, like every every Kaizo player is going to be there. Does Mitch have a portrait? When I was making Grand Pool 2, and I was putting the portraits in, uh, I didn't even know Mitch was planning on playing Grand Pool 2. So no, there is there is no Mitch portrait in Grand Portal 2. I didn't even know he was considering it. Oh no! There you go. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? All right, you guys want your Metroid speedrun here? This is the closest you're getting to a Metroid speedrun. <laughs> that's, that's as close as you're getting. All right. <sighs> Composer is getting is going to FaceTime you and for the Grand Pool 2 run. <laughs> so fast. GG. Uh, shout out to Salt Lake. Really, really, really fun levels. All really, really fun. Except that one I played yesterday. All really fun levels. Uh, we know, I know we were kind of talking over your levels a lot, but we had a lot of conversations going on. But really amazing level creator. I can't wait to see what you do in Mario Maker 2. I can't wait to see it. So uh, very another another creator that, uh, that one to look out for when Mario Maker 2 drops very soon. Uh, let, are we a month away? Are we exactly one month away from Mario Maker 2? That's fucking crazy. But yeah, anyway, GG. Uh, thank you for making your levels, dude. You're awesome. Yeah, Salt Lake was here. He was trying to backseat me during one of these levels. Like, you gotta go faster, bird. <laughs> so, so, Salt Lake Salt Lake was indeed here, yeah. Uh, eighth position. Thank you. Nine super experts. <laughs> These are rookie numbers. You got to pump those numbers up. Uh, eighth position. Thank you so much for the three months. Appreciate it. They're rookie numbers, man.